average person types about 40 words per minute, but it's actually possible to improve that. And today we're going to talk about some tips that will help you type faster. Hey guys, Carrie here of Virtually Carrie. Today I'm going to teach you how to check your typing speed and also give you some tips to improve. Let's go! Touch typing is one of the most fundamental skill sets if you're working with computers or laptops. As a virtual assistant, it is one of the most basic skill that you should improve and learn over time. As a virtual assistant, you'll be working with a lot of data entry, research, and social media tasks. So it is very important that you improve your typing speed so you can be more productive and efficient with your work. So what are the advantages of touch typing? Of course, number one is your speed. The faster you are able to type, the more productive you will be. And second is accuracy. Although I really really suggest that you work first on your accuracy before you improve on your speed. During interviews, one of the most common questions clients ask, especially to beginners, is how fast can you type? And it is very important that you know the answer to this. That's why in this video, I'm going to teach you how to check your typing speed so that you can improve and learn as you go forward. So touch typing is all about the idea that each of your fingers has its own area on the keyboard, thanks to the fact that you can type without looking at the keys. Yes, it really is possible. A lot of virtual assistants who have been working for a long time, including me, can type without looking, um, unless we're dealing with the complicated words. So just practice regularly and your fingers will learn your location on the keyboard through muscle memory. We have a thing called muscle memory wherein your fingers will automatically know where to press given you've had enough practice. So before you start, I want you to be comfortable with your sitting position. Um, just sit straight and remember to keep your back straight. Keep your elbows bent at the right angle when you're typing. And you may want to use some um, keyboard pad. Now for your starting position, um, curve your fingers a little bit and put them so your left fingers should be on the ASDF keys and your right finger should be on the JKL keys. Of course, this is not really um, something that you must follow, but it is a guideline that you can especially, I mean, that you can do, especially if you are a beginner. You know, when I started learning, I didn't really follow the rules, but it is just true typing and practicing. And um, I was a big, Yahoo Messenger user back in the days, so I was I was typing every day. That's why I think I was able to improve over time. So feel free to do whatever is comfortable for you. Also, do not rush when you are just starting to learn. Again, focus on your accuracy first and speed up only when your fingers hit the right keys out of habit. Take your time typing and try to avoid mistakes. You know, the speed will come along as you go on. Um, again, practice is the keyword here. So always scan a word or two in advance, or you can also try three if you're able to. Now here is a simple exercise for you. Open up a blank Word document and start typing any words that come to your mind. Just type as many words as you can. And again, don't worry too much about the speed. Focus on limiting typos. If it's too difficult not to look at your hands, what you can do is open up an on-screen keyboard to guide you through the typing process. And lastly, you can check out this website. It's ratatype.com and they have a free typing test and typing tutor. So this is really um this is really helpful especially if you are a beginner but again um 
you can try out different virtual assistant tests and courses um, since typing is really involved in everything you do as a virtual assistant. So as long as you are able to practice every day, then I think that is a good start. So now let's go ahead and click on take a typing test. All right, so now we have our final score with the adjusted. So this is the adjusted speed. Of course, the lower your accuracy is, that will also affect your overall speed. Now, the reason why I recommend ratatype.com is because you can also get a certificate and save your score. Otherwise, you can take a screenshot of this and you can include it in your portfolio or in your resume just in case, you know, your clients ask you to. Uh, usually for experienced virtual assistants, it's, um, it, it's a given fact that, of course, if you already have years of experience, then you should also have around 70 to 80 words per minute. For beginners, the average would be around 30 to 40. Above average would be, you know, 50 to 60. So I, um, yeah. Now I'm just curious. Let's see the high scores. Oh, okay. 199.8 with 100% accuracy, but I think that's that's a bot, really. Let's see for today. Okay, see, we have the highest is 89.8. I'm not sure if this is still a bot or that is indeed, that is indeed fast. So when you go to Typing Tutor tab, you will actually see this tutorial. And I recommend that you complete all the lessons in here. So again, this is free. And there are also some typing games. I'm, I'm a little bit old school. One of the type, typing games that I used to play was ty, Typer Shark. I'm not sure if you can still play it online or you have to download the game version. Um, but yeah, again, practice is what you need here. Additional tips are number one. Make sure to practice every day. And remember, don't just practice often, but practice correctly. And that includes getting rid of bad typing habits and replacing them with good ones. For example, every single finger should be used when you're typing. And don't just rely on the middle fingers or the point fingers, which is what we're most comfortable with. You need to utilize both of your hands and all your fingers to achieve your highest typing potential. Number two, avoid using your mobile phone to work. Laptops, computers, desktops are there for a reason. Every virtual assistant really needs to be comfortable working with their tools, their workstations. 
And this will also help you practice, not just with typing, but with getting to know the different shortcuts like Control C, Control V, and so on. Number three, know your keyboard. This is important because if you can map the keyboard out in your mind, then you won't need to look away from the screen to locate the keys you need. Also, I would suggest that you familiarize yourself with the F and J button. So you really have to feel where they are on the keyboard. One other thing you can do is buy a mechanical keyboard, which is what I'm using. Usually it's only for the gamers and the hardcore typers, but it is really... Uh, something that I enjoyed working as a virtual assistant. I just like the way it sounds and the way it feels on my fingers. Next would be to develop a rhythm. And again, remember that our focus is not to hurry, but to be accurate. So keep that in mind. Speed comes naturally with practice and time. And let me know in the comments your current typing speed and if you want to try again next week, let me know if you are able to improve. Thank you for joining me in today's video. Stay safe and stay virtually empowered. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.